The invisible escutcheon clamp was developed at the request of a plumber who faced a common problem of a loose shower arm. He needed a clamp to hold the pipe securely to the wall but remain invisible under the trim ring. A polypropylene part resembling an adhesive backed split flange not only secured the arm but provided a complete seal around the hole in the wall as well. My name is Sam Sijan and this is a practical demonstration of the invisible escutcheon clamp for potential licensees. It is intended to show the ease of installation in a sheetrock wall of a typical bathroom shower. The first step is to remove the shower head. Next, place the clamp on a hard surface and firmly insert a screwdriver or other wedge into the front side of the slot to expand the clamp. Slide the clamp over the shower arm until the boss on the rear of the clamp touches the wall. Use a pencil to trace the shape of the boss on the surface. Now take the clamp off and use a saw or other suitable cutting tool to enlarge the hole. We are using a steak knife in this video to illustrate the ease of installation. Uh, apply adhesive to the back of the flange and slide the clamp back onto the shower arm until the flange contacts the wall. Press firmly. Uh, it should be noted here that production clamps would do well to have double, double stick adhesive already applied and the customer would merely remove the protective paper on the side facing the wall. Adjust the position of the shower arm and remove the screwdriver from the slot. At this point, a bead of caulk can be applied to the slot to seal the opening completely. Now slide the trim ring over the clamp and reinstall the shower head. It was quickly realized that this product could be made in other sizes, styles, and materials to hold any size or type of tubular object uh, passing through a wall or bulkhead mounted internally or externally or even at an angle in relation to a barrier. Uh, there are at least a hundred different parts covering the sizes from quarter inch to inch and a half diameters for common applications that can be produced from this idea alone. Larger sizes can of course be made as well. Uh, note the three inch clamp with the oval flange later in the video. Uh, the escutcheon clamp has a waiting customer base in the form of plumbers, electricians, and those doing home repairs. The ease of use is self-evident and requires almost no instruction for its proper installation. In fact, a novice could make a shower repair on a sheetrock wall with a steak knife and a screwdriver. A non-provisional patent has been applied for and manufacturers are being sought for license agreements. The application covers clamping devices of all flange shapes and all materials, glued to a wall or bulkhead, or anchored in place by other means uh, at an angle of 90 degrees or less. Uh, for example, a hose bib or conduit going through a siding would be angled at 5 degrees. The patent application also applies to the method of securing a, a tubular structure with a flanged friction clamp through a wall or bulkhead with or without glue, wall anchors, or solder in ambient or hot assembly conditions. Though the functional prototype was made of polypropylene and worked very well, the vision is to manufacture versions of the escutcheon clamp in materials, colors, and shapes matched to the manufacturer's material preference and product line. The existing need and unfilled niche will allow the licensee to open new areas in the marketplace and improve products already in production. The simple design is inexpensive and easy to build. This is a product that should be in common use and would easily find its way into plumbing and electrical trades in residential and commercial applications. Thank you for your consideration. Please contact me with any questions you may have. I'm interested in getting this necessary part into people's hands as soon as possible. Samples and drawings are available on request.